Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Jubal Kurian from Grade 12. And today, I am here to showcase something interesting. No, no, no. I first of all want all of you to imagine that you are a hearing or a speech impaired person. And now, you also have to go to the marketplace or anywhere to do your previous day chores or something. The only thing you have to communicate to express your thoughts, feelings or whatever is through the universal set of American Sign Language. Now, for that, today I am going to share you the scientific breakthrough which is going to revolutionize the way these people face everyday life and which will empower them doing the basic things that they need and the, through the main weapon that ever existed on the earth that is through the ability to communicate. Now you might be wondering what these sign languages are. Now to avoid this kind of a helpless situation, to uplift the pains of the uh, to uplift the pains of these people, I present before you the smart hand glove. For a football club, it's not one. This is an advanced machinery armored with artificial intelligence and machine learning capabilities that can render yourself that all the sign languages within itself according to the program coded onto it. The motive behind this project is a very humanitarian one. The device could help to reduce the communication gap between us and them. This glove can convert the sign languages into electrical signals that will be transmitted to the electric circuit that as you see here and that same thing will be displayed onto the device or the PC that you use or even it can be displayed onto the mobile and the person in front of you can read those sign languages in the form of the English language. Now coming to the hardware part, this is the hardware kit, this glove Consists of flex sensor, Arduino Leonardo, accelerometer, wire, Bluetooth module, the hand glove itself, and the breakboard. Now these, now these hardware parts can be uh, primarily transformed into two parting uh, parts: the transmitter part and the receiver part. Now let's move towards its working. What you see here in this hand glove, the primary thing on which this works is on the flex sensors. There are five of them mounted on each of the hand. These are in fact variable resistors that can measure the bent angle. See, this is 45 degree, 90 degree as you see. When I bend this finger with a variable resistance, it can automatically come to know what each and every letter stands for. But this itself is not enough to accommodate all the sign languages. With this, we have introduced piezoelectric sensors and accelerometer to differentiate between few of the letters like this stands for V and this stands for U. Now the piezoelectric sensors can differentiate between that itself and the accelerometer can differentiate the hand in the 3D space surrounding it. When all the three elements combine together, a scatter plot is formed, a hypothetical one. And use, as you see, a line of best fit is put here on here. And where there is a maximum area, here, the maximum point density, it will automatically come to know what each and every letter stands for. The more the number of times you do, the more will be the points jotted down and the more will be the efficiency of this equipment. And here comes in the role of artificial intelligence. This is the analogy. It starts from the starting hand gesture and ends to the display output on the PC. Now, if it is not recognized, this loop continues in a cycle until the sign is recognized. So, there is no loophole left in this. These are the few glimpses of the code that we use while making this. It consists of Python, Arduino, etc. Now, the outcomes. It has various outcomes when I did this. In fact, I achieved the 21st century learning skills as well as it has the primary outcome to establish a channel of communication between us and these people because this is the primary thing that has in this today's 21st century to empower them. Its future is immense, you know. 
It just depends on your imagination. What you see is not what you get, but what you feel, you think, you can surely get it if you are determined to do it. For this, we have also planned to put on some ultrasonic sensors for the visually impaired. So while a person just walks down, he doesn't need to use a stick or something. He can just randomly move his uh, hand like this and he will come to know if there's an obstacle or something. This glove was made at a cost of rupees 6000. Since it's a prototype and we had to buy different parts from different shops and all, but the whole Bessie circuit, as you see, can be embedded into a single integrated chip. That, can, that will come at a cost of rupees 700 or so. And this is the future of the glove and which will be impl implemented soon. Hence, this technology could uh, mean a new way for about millions of people even hearing and speech impairment to communicate and connect with people like us. I'm literally, I'm literally psyched to tell you about this achievement for me as well as the community and for the well-being of humanity. Thank you.